Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to ST Ownership. Uh, sorry I've not posted a video for ages, um, but I felt I've seen a few new subscribers come to the channel and I felt like I really need to put some content up now. Um, I haven't been doing anything recently because I've been so busy and all the times I'm free to film is the evening or the morning when it's pitch black on my way to work or my way home from work. So uh, my plan is to, uh, today, I don't know if you can see, Outside, it's covered in snow at the moment. There's snow everywhere. So we had a random day of snow, basically, today. Um, and I've been needing to put winter tyres on the, the Focus for for, for a, about over a month, at least. Um, even in the rain, it's been slipping. Um, it's on Goodyear Eagle F1, asymmetric 2s on the front and asymmetric 3s in the back. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. But they didn't have any asymmetric twos when I went, so I put threes on. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a set of Pirellis um, all round, um, which ain't cheap. Five hundred and seventy pounds for four tires, um, but I see it as an investment because uh, I'll be keeping. My plan is to keep this Focus uh, forever, basically. Um, I'm still paying the car off just now, but once I've paid it off, my intention is to keep it uh, and then move on to something else for like a daily car, but I'll always keep the focus um, so it's not going to disappear and the channel won't disappear. Um, I'm always going to be doing things, but my hope is that by that point I'll have more money to spend on the actual car itself um, because I won't be paying it off, I'll be paying off another car. But anyway, the intention is to keep it and then... Uh, do some real mods to it, you know, then. So what I'll do is really quickly give you a, a look around the car at the moment as it is um, and show you the tyres. Okay, so here's the current tyres on the car. And the left ones. The front is an alright amount of tread on them, but not for the amount of snow and stuff we've had to do. Uh, and on the back as well. So we've got, again, a fair amount of tread on them. Plenty of tread on them for tonight. I need to get the wheels done up because the wheels. Uh, well, that was not too bad actually. Uh, this wheel here is looking a bit curved. Not good. Um, also, at the moment, doing something to the front. So, I've basically moved obviously the ridge plate off to the side with a, a vinyl one. Uh, and I can't decide at the moment if I'm going to drill uh, the holes in the grill. Or if I'm going to put a Zoom Sport grill on, you get to decide that. Uh, and up around the back, uh, we've got ST Turbo logo uh, and some up, you know, the red badges and so on that have been there. Um, so haven't really done much to the car. A few stickers on there, ST decals. Uh, but I do plan to do an in-depth tour of the car. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll get the new tyres on uh, and we'll uh, we'll come back. Right, so I have no idea how good this is going to be. This could be a shaky mess, but we're going to head just now to get the tyres. Uh, at the moment, the car is just like not gripping at all uh, on these tyres. And I doubt it'll be much better on the, <laughs> on the winter tyres, to be honest. But certainly when the rain's there, these tires just slip and there's somebody there. Um, yeah, the tires they just they just slip in the rain. So uh, hopefully they'll be much better in that one. Oh, okay, he's coming in here. This is good. The video is going well so far. Now the car struggled to get up this hill last time, so I really don't know why I'm going up this hill. But you're coming with me on this one. Yeah, there we go. Also. If anyone can let me know, is this a normal noise for the traction control to make? It does a kind of, kind of noise, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's definitely, uh, it's, it's a weird noise and I can definitely feel it vibrating in my feet. And I know that's part of what the, how the system works, but it almost feels loose. Uh, I wish, I wish I had a camera on the front of this car right now because the road is just like polished ice, basically. 
So this is why we're off to get some tires, basically, for the car. Um, while we're in the car, uh, I thought we would quickly talk about um, da, 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 running costs, really, because a lot of people who've left comments recently have been asking about running costs for the car. Um, to be honest, I've had the car for just over a year. I got it in September last year, so we're now in December 2017. I got it in September 2016. Um, and so in just over a year, I've done about 11 or 12,000 miles. I do quite a lot of driving for my job. Um, and um, a lot of it's a lot of it's motorway driving. Um, I've had a couple of big trips from like Scotland to the bottom of England and so on. Uh, and I regularly drive from Glasgow to Aberdeen. Um, but I live in Glasgow. There's a lot of motorways there. Um, oh, uh, there's a lot of motorways in Glasgow. So I'm. It's a mixture of that and town driving and back and forward to work and so on. So I'm sorry if the camera vibrates a wee bit during this, it's just the holder I've got for my phone really isn't the best for filming with, especially vibration wise, but bear with me, bear with me. Um, so yes, uh, I've had the car for just over a year uh, and I've basically at the moment I'm on 24.6 mpg. Um, the worst I've had it was 21, and that wasn't long after I got the car. Um, and the best I've had it is about 27. And I think if you're somewhere between 24, 25, 26-ish, you're probably gonna be about normal. Um, that's kind of normal for this car, I would say, based on how I've seen other people's. That's also basically standard. There's nothing, no engine modifications to this car other than uh, a K N panel filter in. So uh, I can't speak for cars that have been modified, but ones that are standard, that seems to be about normal. Um, with my kind of mixture of driving in terms of the type of roads I'm on. Monthly, I'm probably on about 120 pounds of petrol a month. Uh, I fill up maybe three or four times, usually a half tank, which is about 30 pounds. So 120 pounds a month on petrol, again, is about normal. I'm not saying that's necessarily affordable, um, but it's not it's not awful. Um, but yes, if you were to compare it to some of the more eco-friendly cars of today, then yeah, it's not good. But that's not why you buy a Focus ST, is it? You don't buy a Focus ST because you want to be economical. You buy it because you like the car, you're into the five-cylinder noise, or you just want to have a bit of fun, and it's a great fun car to have. Um, so, insurance-wise is another thing. Um, I'm, oops, I'm almost 30, and I've been driving for four years. I've had a couple of cars before this one. I've had one accident, but that was somebody bumping into me, so I wasn't at fault. Um, and with that one claim on as well, I'm about £800 for the year with ins for insurance. So, again, that's not too bad. Obviously, again, it depends on a lot of factors on your age, whether you've had any accidents, your driving history, and so on and so on. Uh, also, where you live, I suppose, and where you park your car, all these kind of things. So... Other than that, and things like servicing, really, uh, there are additional costs. But we're just turning up now to the uh, to get the tyres done. So uh, I'll get the tyres on, I'll show you them once they're fitted, uh, and then we'll continue this conversation about uh, running costs then. All right. Now, can you see the car in this seat? Up on all four jacks, getting all the tires done. So there we go. There it is. How does it work? Hi guys, how are you doing? Sorry, you joined me like two days later now. Um, I think I've actually got my phone the opposite way around as well. Um, so, basically I ran out of light after I got my tyres on and uh, I got a bit of the filming done when I left the tyre place, but 
it was just getting so dark and the camera was getting so noisy and grainy that it was just it was horrible so basically I've had these winter tires on the car now for about four days also I apologize sorry for the vibrating of this I really don't have a very good holder for my phone and I'm using it as my camera at the moment um, anyway I've got these four tires on I've had them on for about two days now and they are the grippiest tires I have ever owned in my life. I mean, that is their job, obviously, but it just shows me how much I should have had winter tires on during these months, especially living in Scotland. Just the amount of rain and the amount of greasiness on the road, um, especially that day of snow, it was an ideal time to get them. It's never gonna snow like that often in Scotland, but it was definitely a good time to invest in some winter tires for the ST anyway. So before we put the tires on the car, I was discussing running costs with you guys. And uh, I think we pretty much covered everything. But that's something else to add to it. You might be putting winter tires on your car. But uh, other than things like insurance, petrol, um, I think servicing was the only other thing I was gonna mention. Um, I think a service for the ST is about 120-ish pounds. Um, and you know that's roughly once a year 12,000 miles I think the manual says um, I'm due a service this month uh, so I'll be getting all the fluids done uh, I've got a K&N panel filter in like I've said before so um, I'll just probably clean that one out myself with a K&N uh, cleaning kit that you can buy uh, and that's about it um, I was going to show you the tires in the car but they really are just Pirelli tires in the car they just got a good chunky tread on them um, so it's not really worth showing you that uh, my plan now that we're into January is to start showing you is to get a video of the car up um, I film for my job and I'm dying to just make a small video on the car just so you guys can see what it's like just now um, and I can kind of go over my intentions I mentioned earlier in this video that I'm planning on putting, uh, doing the front grille. I don't know what I'm going to do, but at the moment I've taken the reg plate off and I've got a, a vinyl plate off to the side, which I have checked and it's it's legal, it's not bending around too far, you can still read it from the front. So um, I'm left with obviously the flat area where the reg plate would go. Um, and I'm. I've seen people who've drilled hole saws and I've even got a hole saw kit made up and ready and waiting to basically drill four or five holes in that um, to kind of not make it look like it's missing something and get the whole thing painted black. I'm also going to get the whole grill painted black. Um, oh, thanks, sir. Uh, I'm then going to get the whole grill painted black uh, and see how it looks. So I think I'll go ahead and do that, and if it doesn't look good, then I'll just go and buy a Zoom Sport Grill for it. Simple. Anyway guys, uh, it's past Christmas as well, and New Year, so Happy New Year. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you can, and if you enjoyed what you're watching, uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Okay, thanks.